Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat 4! And in this episode of our season with Stuart Friesen's number 52 Hallmark Chevrolet, we're going to be completing race 11, which is the Drive-In for Lineman 200 at WWT Raceway, which I'm guessing was previously known as um, Gateway, almost like Canadian Tire, but it says track type, Speedway, and 21 laps. We're not going to run 21 laps at Canadian Tire, Mosport Park, and that track is not Speedway, it's, it's a freaking road course, but most road courses are known as raceway, so that got me confused for sure in the last episode, which was racing at Iowa, the M&M's 200. We struggled on fresh tires and on worn tires, we started gaining ground back, and it was as if my truck was actually better on worn tires. It felt that way, like I couldn't turn whenever I was on fresh tires. It was weird. Maybe this game is having some crazy optical illusion, though. So, take a look at the season standings. After that race, we are well, the playoff standings leader ahead of Harrison Burton, because we're tied with the most wins right now, and, well, we've got the most points. If you take a look at the point settings right here, well, aside from Ross Chastain, who finally won a race last weekend, and you've got Brett Moffitt, Grant Infinger in there. Who else down here? Someone else won. Uh, yeah, Jordan Anderson, 17th place. I don't know how the hell that happened. That was at Dover, wasn't it? But, um, yeah, Ross Chastain is now just four points ahead of us. Uh, if we can run well at Gateway or WWT Raceway, which doesn't fly off the tongue well at all, then we could be able to get past Ross Chastain. I'm not sure because he always runs consistently, and this was one of my worst tracks back whenever it came out in NASCAR 2 and it might be worse or better now considering tire wear plays a factor in this game. Apparently this place is still known as Gateway. It's just like a little minor thing at the bottom of the race logo. So let's not overshoot turn one. Apparently, turn one is way tighter than turn two. And I never noticed that because I'd never seen the track map before. I always assumed it was just a basic oval, but instead it's like Darlington except not nearly as banked. So, that's intriguing. And I always knew that this wall did this thing where it, it curves inward off of turn two, but, hmm, just never really thought this track actually did this. I'm on a loser setup, by the way. Um, I picked it up a notch just so I could get this thing to turn better. I've always known this track is one I've had a problem steering at. Okay, 17th. It's on the inside. Um, and being on the inside at a restart at tracks like this is, is very important because it's, it's all about hugging the bottom. There's, I don't think there was really an outside group at all at this track, to be honest. Maybe there's one in the middle. So, where are my people starting? we got Matt Craft in 15th. Um, Myatt Snyder starting in 30th, so that freaking sucks. Um, didn't Parker Kligerman used to be way better than that? I don't know, and we're, we're all the good guys. Ross Chastain, my guy I'm paying attention to, is starting 13th. Natalie Decker starting 10th. That's cool. Uh, Todd Gillen in 8th. Brett Moffitt in 9th. All these other guys. Dylan Lupton on the pole. Harrison Burton trying to get that 4th win. Okay, well, that's all I really need to see. Uh, you can see the, the setup right there at the top right of the screen. I just turned it up one notch. Well, we're still starting in 17th. means no one in front of us got sent to the back. Well, Sound like I was going to say, Noah Gragson got sent back, but Noah Gragson is not here. I wish he was, because he'd be winning this championship. I've got my my feet stuck under my pants, and I'm trying to crisscross applesauce this race. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me. You know, the point is, I don't want to sit with my legs out. I want to sit my legs crossed. I'm more comfortable. Oh, yeah, that's right. Gateway has all the night races. Whenever NASCAR Heat 2 came out, didn't this place used to be racing the Xfinity Series? Did they, did they stop coming into NASCAR Heat 3? I think they did. Okay, make a few spots into Turn 1, or at least that was what the plan was. That didn't work at all, so now I'm getting passed instead. Okay, then. Use a draft down the back stretch to side draft Ben Rhodes. We'll pass him. And, well, this was still made up one spot. We're in 16th. Oh, gosh, I tried to use just the brakes. The truck did a wobble and a weeble and all kinds of crap. Just hang into the draft, a three-lap stage. Maybe the, the second stage will be longer. I actually got a really good run off of turn four. I think we're strong here, but I don't know when the worn tires really come into play of a factor, to be honest. Man, I'm making a bunch of freaking ground. I don't think we're going to get stage points, but, I mean, we've got these two guys right in front of us if we want to. I mean, sure, I, I want to, but I don't know if we're actually going to do it. Uh, I haven't seen Ross Chastain yet. He's got that, that white and blue 45 underneath Todd Gillen, and I, I'm wrecking Natalie Decker. Natalie Wrecker. I don't know. 
and um, she's getting stage points. I'm trying to pass both of them. I wasn't trying to pass Natalie Decker, but I had that much momentum going to the corner. Okay, we're over revving the darn thing because I'm trying to late break the corner. Okay, I got the spot. I'm trying to late break it instead, I just overshoot the corner completely. Now I got Matt Kraft underneath me. Let's see if I have enough straightaway speed to clear him before we get into turn three. Oh God, that's not safe. Who designed this fucking racetrack? And that's a caution. Well, I still got a stage point, but that was probably a, an immense amount of damage. I was going in a straight line. We weren't hitting the wall, but then after the wall came back up, we hit it there. That was only two seconds of damage, though. Okay, I know pit stops after stage one. I don't know if that was embarrassing or just bad track design. Of course, it's, the sky gets darker, the gradual passing of time. Uh, so, are they going to be affected by tire wear, or am I going to be affected by tire wear? Both. Tire wear, and in the end, not really anything noticeable. Okay, we got a four-lap stage. Okay, that was correct. I was hoping for a longer stage in the second one. I'm trying to make it three wide, or get to the inside, or do something to get down there. Well, Matt Crafter got loose, so we're passing him on the outside. Truck is getting tight. I'm trying to use this draft. Come on. Side draft solder. I'm free wide again. I just can't clear Matt Crafton for the life of me whenever I'm running this race right now. I don't know what the problem is. But Dylan Lupton's are on the pole. He's falling back to eighth right now. And then I got a big gap between me and Tyler Dipple. Tyler Nipple. Matt Crafton's getting run. I thought that was a pretty damn good corner. Now that I've finally taken it all by myself, but. It was Matt Crafton making moves on me. It's just me versus Matt Crafton. Me versus my past self. Yeah, I'm taking tire wear. I can't do shit anymore. These guys actually taking a little bit of tire wear in the last couple of laps, but they pulled so much on me just because my tire's getting worn at the beginning of the second stage that I couldn't really do anything. But still, I mean, we got one stage point, then we got three, so that's four in total. And... Oh, Ross Chastain finished one position behind me in that one. I'm pretty sure he finished in front of me um, in the last one. Otherwise, I mean, he's behind me now, so he hadn't been in front of me before. Everyone's taking pit stops. Definitely just going to get four tires like always. And enough field to make it to the end of the race. I don't want to go for the whole 11 laps thing. We'll repair that two seconds of damage just for uh, the sake of all that is good for me. Uh, we lost seven spots. From two seconds of damage. Either that, them trying to take like right side tires or something, which they should definitely be affected by, because it's a flat track. And you can't. You, you, I mean, if they would take right side tires, then they wouldn't have the left side tires. It'd be looser, so they'd have to take it slower so that they don't spin easily. Either way, I mean, if you only take two tires, you're gonna have much slower corner speeds as soon as you start the darn thing. So a bunch of these guys should be able to pass easily, and some of them while well, they're just still in front of us. We're already up to 13th. Got a long ways to go in the final stage of this race. Because we start on lap 13. I think that's in total like 10 laps. So we're on the inside, riding this curb. My truck isn't getting loose from the curb, which does surprise me a bit. Because I figure if I'm riding the curb, it'll throw off the balance, but it just isn't doing that that much. But that's just like an apron whenever we play the other two games. Okay, Jordan Anderson's not running into me. It's good. See all kinds of traffic up there, and there. See like Ross Chastain trying to get around him, but he can't because there's just two lanes of traffic, and he can't find his way underneath anybody. But I'm in tenth, going for ninth on Dean. Dean something. I don't know what this guy's name is. Yeah, they uh, have appropriate braking points here. That's pretty cool. You get enough draft down the straightaway, and there's an opening on the bottom, and I couldn't make a pass. It's just I got to set it up properly. The way I did the while ago was definitely not it. Okay. In the brakes, arcing it in. Uh, he's kind of leaving a hole in the bottom, but that's definitely not enough. Okay, now we'll give it a shot. He got the wrong the corner, so first off, he has to finish that run, then I have to get the trap. I'm trying, I'm working on it. It's not going to happen here. Okay, sending it underneath him. That was dirty. But I, I'm dirty. I'm, I'm nasty. I'm naughty. That was a beautiful entrance to that corner. And I can tell they're taking tire wear. We're getting towards the end of this run. I think we're about to have four laps to go. I'm pretty sure Ross Chastain is in this pack somewhere. I think we can get a top five because they're taking tire wear now. And it's just going to keep on getting worse from here on out. Gosh, keep on getting close to that damn outside wall. Underneath craft we go. 
passing him easily this time, and there's Ross Chastain. He's all ours to get in the next corner. He's going to hang on to that draft. The best we find ourselves finishing are like fourth. Uh, I don't know about third. Can't count all these trucks properly. Like This is six, and that's the fifth. So, yeah, fourth is the best we're probably going to get. Unless a caution comes out, we'll probably win the damn race on the restart, for all we know. Okay, side draft into nipple. Tyler's nipple. Got drafted by my side. His side. I don't know. I'm making I'm making episode titles. Leave me alone. Oh my god, the tire wear is ruining my corners now. That's not good. Where are we at on tire wear? Okay, we're fine. Struck just doesn't like tire wear. This is the tire wear here compared to like the 1.5 mile tracks and all that shit. The intermediates, it's so different. Like, what what's the deal with it like being so different? Like we've we've gone so freaking far and the tires are still fine on percentage. But sure as hell is driving badly. We're gonna get around Tyler Ankrum. He's been having a pretty darn good rookie season. Yeah, Tyler Ankrum's a rookie. He's good in this game. I don't know exactly why he's this good. He's decent in reality, but not this good. And I think we get to Brett Moffitt, even though these tires are killing us. Be able to track him down. Oh, and there's that caution I was talking about. And no, there's no glitch. It's not the last lap. You know, it's like it was the last lap and the caution came out and we get a restart anyways. No one's pitting. And I am not pitting. We are going to win this race. We're going to win this race. How much y'all want to bet I'm going to win this race? If I don't win this race, I'm going to be fucking embarrassed, man. What is? What are y'all doing? What is What is this? We got all these guys at the bottom. There's one guy in the middle, and then Brett Moffat at the top. Uh, a two-lap shootout, the green-white checker, like always. Uh, trying to send it underneath them, and that's not how it's going to work. I don't know why I thought there would be a gap open right there. I'm trying. This thing's sliding over the damn place. Come on, come on, get your shit together, truck. This guy is right there in front of us. Ugh, it's like Harrison Burton's checking up. That stupid freaking wall is gonna kill me, man. Okay, it's kind of turning on its own. It's got this thing where whenever I brake, even the slightest on worn tires, it just kicks out sideways like crazy. And I got to anticipate it not steer going to a corner. Okay, well, we're third. Going for second right here. We get to this guy. Okay, Tyler X. Equis. I guess. I still don't know how to pronounce this guy's name because I didn't actually get a, a clear translation of the name. Got that draft. Pull him toward us. This might be a little dirty. Or not. I'm gonna run him up the track. And there ain't nobody gunning underneath me. We're gonna get it. Uh, okay, just gotta pull up in front of him. I told you. I told you we were gonna win the race. And we won the race. I still don't even know what that caution was for. Yeah! In your face, Ekis! Ekis face! X face! Ekes face! I don't want to pronounce his name because it's a, it's a weird name that I've never heard of. Here we are in victory lane yet again for the fourth time this season. We are now have the actual most wins of the season over Harrison Burton by one. And I think we'll probably get one or two more before the playoffs begin. You know, you get the trophy, the truck, the Stuart Friesen. Ah. Uh, this is such a beautiful, shiny, glowing, gorgeous game. Christian E. Case finished in second place, and he won one of the stages. Harrison Burton won one of the stages, well finished in fourth. Right now I'm betting on Harrison Burton, Brett Moffitt, and Ross Jastain joining me in the final four whenever we get there. Um, that's just what I'm assuming right now. Probably said different things previously. I would like Matt Crafton, but he's not exactly that great this season. I made him great in Master Heat 3. Jordan Anderson having a decent finish. Natalie Decker started in 10th or whatever, and she finished 14th. So uh, I guess I can't be that surprised. Surprised that she didn't lose too many positions. Uh, my insider finished 29th. I hate. Uh, I guess Kyle Benjamin blew up or something with a few laps to go, and that's the reason why that caution came out, because it says six laps. And we are now nine points from Frost Chastain, so it's just a constant battle between me and him. I mean, we're four behind him, so I guess we just gained 13 points on that race. Uh, he definitely could have done better, that's for sure. And, of course, you got the playoff standings. We are so far ahead of Harrison Burton, and Ross Chastain still only has one win. But I think Harrison Burton's making his way through the points because, I mean, he's not like a full 100 or anything like that. We're both, like, within the 400 range. So, let's get out of here. I'm guessing he's, like, what, 74 points behind me? He's making up ground, but I don't know if he can be able to catch me before the regular season ends. 
Next up, we're going to Chicagoland Speedway tomorrow for race 12, the Camping World 225. 225, that's an interesting number. My PlayStation 4 is wailing like a freaking animal. You can probably hear that if I, if I stop talking, but see you next time. That's that, and episode over.